Want to get more jobs on Upwork? Here's how. I'm going to talk about the seven ways you can improve your Upwork profile get more attention and ultimately get more clients. Seven aspects of your Upwork profile that you can improve and should definitely improve to win more jobs. Because the reality is freelance websites are highly competitive and the Upwork isn't an exception. Think about this. When entrepreneurs are thinking about hiring you, it's A, because they need an expert to deal with a specific job or B, they need someone to do a job that they were previously doing so they could free some times off their schedule. So when you apply for a job, you compete against many amazing freelancers. So the more often you get to be the best looking option based on your profile, the more jobs you'll get. So here are seven ways you can make your profile greater and get more jobs. You could only do one or you could do them all. But I recommend that you look at the seven aspects in detail and work to improve each one as much as you can. Specialties. It's the first way to improve your Upwork profile. It is the last thing people will think about to improve their Upwork profile and it is probably the most powerful way to improve it. You can show that you are better than most people or everyone just by having a specialty. For example, let's say that you are applying for a web designer job. If you get that job, you'll have to work on an e-commerce that sells women's shoes. The odds that you'll beat everyone as a generalist are slim. As a generalist, you always compete against everyone. Your odds of getting the job will be a lot greater if you can say that you are a web designer specialized in e-commerce. We tend to think that only doing one specific type of contracts would limit our chances of getting a lot of jobs. But that's actually the opposite. It might sound counterintuitive, but the more specific your skills are, the more jobs you'll get. By having a specialty, you are immediately perceived as an expert. Because of that, your profile gets more attention, people will accept paying more for your time and everyone feels lucky to be working with you. When people see your application, your profile, they'll say to themselves, oh great, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go look at that guy. And if you are lucky, they'll even tell themselves, oh great, that's exactly who I'm looking for. Let's go hire that guy. And if you get that kind of reaction, you have the contracts unless you blow it and there are many ways you could blow it. Watch out though, if you say that you are an expert in website user experience specialized in the clothing industry, people will expect that kind of expertise. So don't make things up. If you have something you're especially good at, something you have a lot of experience in, if there is some kind of demand for it, you should definitely market yourself as an expert in that. As long as you deliver on the short term, you'll win and on the long term, you'll thrive. Portfolio. It is the second way you can improve your Upwork profile, get more attention, and get more jobs right away. If you think that entrepreneurs don't really look at it, it's probably because you suck. Because for a lot of clients of yours, it's going to be the only thing they'll really pay attention to. Get this, many people won't look at your testimonial, won't look at your expertise, certainly won't read your description, your degrees. They won't even look at the price you charge at first sometimes. One thing they really pay attention to is your portfolio. They want to see that's the only thing that re they'll really believe in, what they can see. So improve it as much as you can. And you don't need to take on gigs for that. If you really want to get more clients and you think that your portfolio can be improved, you should definitely take up some time every day to work on it. After some time, you'll have complete something you're really proud of, something you can really use on your portfolio. If you're doing something that isn't visual, I highly recommend that you create a portfolio. Be creative. Look at what people do outside of your niche. I've seen some people show professional graphs of results they achieved that would help you differentiate yourself from anyone else in your niche. And remember, only put what's best. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. People will judge you based 
on the worst element of your portfolio. One way of improving your Upwork profile to look better than others is testimonials. But it's not everything. You want to have great testimonials, but don't sell your soul for them. I swear to God, it's not worth it. This is only one aspect that customers might look for to see if you are better than others, and it's not even the most important one. But still, if you don't have loads of testimonials, that is something you definitely want to pay attention to. That comes with having clients. So you don't have that much control over it, but you still have some control over it. What you'll do is start asking for testimonials. Not like, oh, I'll work for free if you give me positive testimonials. That is stupid. People will treat you like crap if you do that. You are no slave. Don't ever consider this again. Like, I've seen too many freelancers on Upwork offer free work in exchange for good testimonial. And every time I see someone do that, their profile sucks. Like. Chill the fuck down with those testimonials. It's not God's treasure. So whenever you get jobs, you ask for them. If you know that it's going to be a short gig, I highly recommend that you ask for it as soon as you get hired. But you ask for the testimonial after you deliver, obviously. You do that by just explaining yourself briefly. Be honest, be transparent. Hey, Mr. Client, I just want to ensure that after I deliver the outstanding logo you asked for, you are going to take a minute and leave me a testimonial. I asked for it because like you know, it's kind of hard to get started on Upwork. I know that I'm good, but some people can only see my lack of experience. Something like that it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do it. Doing it badly is way better than not doing it at all. And once the job is done, hey, Mr. Client, I'm glad that you are happy with your new logo. If there's anything else I can do to help you grow your business, I'd be happy to be a part of it. Oh, and while I think about it, you said that you'd leave me a testimonial, right? Really important. When it's done, you ask for it. People will forget about it. If it's a very long job, that you'll work on for weeks or months, I recommend that you start by connecting with your client and just do what feels right according to the relationship you've got there. If you have no idea, I'd recommend you do it at the end. About testimonials, there's one thing you want to be really careful about. You've got to understand your client's expectations because if you don't deliver on what they expect or over deliver, you take the risk of having a bad review, a bad testimonial, and that can really hurt you. So ask questions and connect. They are humans. You can connect with them just like you'd connect with your friends and your family. If you think that you cannot deliver on what they expect, just say it and don't take the job. It might be heartbreaking, but stay disciplined. After some time, you'll thank me for pushing you to say no. Experiences, because it's not the same thing as testimonials. And what's great about it is you only tell people you have it. You don't have to wait for anyone to help you out with that. You just tell people what you got. And that is something you can always work to improve and update. Like if you're a web developer and you don't have any experience, can't get clients, just go build some websites. Like, I mean, that is that simple. Then you can say, I've been working on the blog for the past three, four months. As shown in my portfolio, here is the URL. If you do copywriting, I don't know, you could create your own blog and start selling Amazon products. That would work marvelous. Or you could do ads, like you get affiliate link for some kind of products on ClickBank, for example, or, or anywhere. It's not what's important. What is important is you invest like 50 bucks on Google AdWords and boom, you can add ads for ventriloquist online course, two week job experience you've just created yourself. For data science or data analytics, I think that the best way you can get experience is by creating a blog, a website or a YouTube channel and just work on your own data. Just, just an idea. Experience is that thing you just get and tell people you have it. I don't recommend lying though. If you say you have experience in something, people will expect that you know your stuff. Next way to improve your Upwork profile is to add degrees or change them. About that, I've got to say, it's not only for college and university degrees. If you take online courses, tell your potential clients about it. It doesn't have the same weight as a college degree, 
but it's something people will take seriously if you do too. And even if you are in the middle of an online course right now, tell people about it. Label it as in progress. That's all it takes. I think that every freelancer should take online courses. It will make you improve and get you some more credibility. If you want to add courses to your Upwork profile and you want to become a more skilled freelancer, go check out the Udemy link in the description. Udemy is the best place you can get cheap courses. Udemy is basically an online course platform for freelancers and entrepreneurs on which you can take courses on really specific things for really cheap. It gives you a certificate it, it gives you a certificate when you're done with the course which can be quite nice. One or two online courses might be all you need to look like a better option than the next guy. It's important that you choose courses that sound great though, especially if you do it only to improve your profile. If you do web design, web development, you don't want to get a course that says uh, WordPress for beginners. You want to get the course titled WordPress website get from good to outstanding. Watch out though, not every online course on Udemy is worth taking for the knowledge. Some are really bad and you want to be aware of that. If you want to make sure that the courses you take are good, go see our online course reviews on the channel. This is just a bonus way of improving your profile. You might already have worked on it quite a bit, so just a quick tip. Go look at the biggest freelancers in your niche. Check out their description and see what seems to be working. And do what they do as much as you can. The most successful freelancers have all worked with marketing agencies to make their profile sell as much as they possibly can. Obviously, you could poop an amazing description. But again, those successful freelancers are partly successful because their profiles sell. So yeah, go do that. No matter what you do, keep a well-structured description and keep it simple. If you don't, that will make you look bad and people won't read it. That is pretty much all you could do to improve your Upwork profile. I didn't mention the price, but I guess I could have. Like, look, you can win contracts because you are cheaper. And when you charge more, you look more skilled. But really, for the price, I think that you should take the salary you think you deserve and add 10 to 30% to it and charge that. Chances are you undervalue your work by a lot and chances are that you are looking at all the freelancers who charge that charges less than you but you cannot compete on price. That is stupid and that leads nowhere. Going that path will never help you achieve the goals you're after. Like freelancing is great because it allows you to be your own boss, to own the company you are working for. And that means that after some time, you earn more money as a freelancer than any employee does for the same job you do. You choose the amount of work you want to put in. It could be 10 hours a week if you get to a point where you charge $80 an hour, which is really not uncommon amongst competent freelancers. You could work from anywhere you want. Like, if what you do doesn't require you to go all over the place, like a freelance clown or a, free, free, or a freelance wedding photographer, you could just decide to go work in Tokyo for a year. Come back after it. Or, I don't know, you could just go backpacking across Europe, Asia, South America. Like, when you are a freelancer, you choose how much work you put in, but you also choose when you work. If your finances allow it, there are ways you can take time off work whenever. And when you do so, you start feeling bad for most people. Like, most people will work somewhere for 10 years before they get an extra one or two week vacation a year. That is horribly sad. But hopefully, you will keep learning about freelancing, business, about sales, communication, and build yourself an amazing freelance career. It won't be easy. Freelancing is not an option for a quick and easy way to make a shit ton of money. That does not exist outside of your fantasies or the lottery. Fortunately, it can go faster when you learn about freelance business, when you learn about sales, communication, negotiation. If you want it to go as fast as possible, if you want to learn as much as you can about freelancing, there's really only one online course that you could take for that. A course that not only teach you how to be a successful freelancer, but how to be a remarkable freelancer. It's the best course on freelancing. It's on Udemy. 
It's never on sale, but it's still pretty cheap for the amount of money you could be making as a freelancer. Like four hours of freelancing and it would be paid for. Seth Godin freelancer course on Udemy. Go check out the Udemy link in the description or check our review out. I'm sure that you can do it. And I hope that what you just learned can help you get more clients. You still have a long way to go, but just go one step at a time. Keep learning and growing every day and I'll see you next week.